Chapter 19 Min Lee started awake as she heard the scraping of the door against the dirt. The moonlight streamed in from the window, lighting the bare hut. The boy had given her his pile of grass to sleep on and joined the buffalo, using some of its grass as a pillow. But as the buffalo snored loudly, Min Lee could see the bowl-shaped hollow in the hay was empty. I wonder where he went, Min Lee said, and she found herself thinking of Ma and Ba and Dragon all waiting for her. Suddenly, the silence of the room seemed to ache with loneliness. The boy must be meeting his friend, Min Lee realized, and unable to control her curiosity, she crept to the window to peek. Yes, the friend was there. Min Lee was startled when she saw her. Even with the buffalo boy blocking most of her view, Min Lee could see his friend was beautiful, even more beautiful than he had described her. She seemed to glow like a pearl in the moonlight, and her deep blue silk dress seemed to be the same color as the sky. The bag she held in her graceful hand seemed to be made out of the same silk, but the silver thread embroidered on it made it look as if it were made from a piece of the star-scattered sky. Everything about her seemed finer and more delicate than the average person. There was definitely something unusual about the buffalo boy's friend. Minley watched her laugh and then listened intently as the buffalo boy spoke. He gestured to the house, and Min Lee just ducked down out of sight as the friend glanced toward her. He must be asking her about how I can see the king, Min Lee thought. As soon as she dared, Min Lee peeked again out the window. The buffalo boy's friend had her eyes closed toward the sky, as if listening to the wind. Then she looked at the buffalo boy and spoke. He nodded and the girl smiled at what Min Lee imagined was the buffalo boy's enthusiastic thanks. Min Lee sat down on the wooden stool. She knows a lot of things, the buffalo boy had said about his friend. After seeing her, Min Lee was ready to believe it. But who is she? Min Lee asked aloud. And just then, the buffalo boy came back inside. Oh, you're awake, he said when he saw Min Lee. As much as he tried, he couldn't hide the leftover smiles and laughter from his visit. His eyes sparkled as he sprawled himself out on the bed of grass. I talked to my friend. She said that the king might be at the market of green abundance tomorrow morning, but you are going to have to find him yourself. Really? Min Lee said. How does she know? The boy shrugged. You didn't ask? Min Lee asked. Don't you think it's mysterious that you only see her once in a while? And you never visit her, she only visits you? And that she knows things like where the king might be tomorrow? Who is she, really? She's my friend, the boy said simply. That's who she is, and that's enough for me. As Min Lee looked at the buffalo boy, aglow with happiness against his poor surroundings, she saw it was enough for him more than enough, as the smile that kept curling up on his face told her. Min Lee's questions fell from her as she realized there was nothing else to say.